All right, we are traveling the Oregon Trail today. Uh, got the vintage Apple II set up going right now, so this is gonna be a lot of fun. Let's travel the trail. <laughs> the nerds hit click two and they wanna learn about the trail. Forget that. Let's just travel it. A banker from Boston, a carpenter from Ohio, a farmer from Illinois. And what are the different? Is it just difficulty or is it like the farmer? I think there were. Is an easy, you'll have more money for supplies. The harder you have to try, the more points you deserve. Right. I see. Banker earns the least. I am perfectly comfortable with that if it means more of us will survive the trip to Oregon. Let's be a banker from Boston. I'm not sure why a banker from Boston would be making a very dangerous trek all the way across the country to fledgling Oregon where they probably don't even have banks. Maybe they want to have a monopoly. They want to have the first bank. I don't know. But let's uh, let's start it. What is the first name of the wagon leader? And we're doing this live with lovely people in the chat. So I'm just going to go in the order that I got these. We'll go... Now, actually, I think LeMay is usually the, the proper name there. And the rest of the party, we go to Never Run. Followed by Rich and Go Koala and round it out with Tiro. There you go. These names are perfect. And thank you everyone for volunteering. Going back to 1840, I try to make a song out of it, but I can't. It is 1848. Your jumping off place for Oregon is Independence, Missouri. You must decide which months to leave Independence. Let's get some advice. You attend a public meeting held for folks with the California Oregon fever. You're told if you leave too early, there won't be any grass for your oxen. You leave too late, you may not get to Oregon before winter comes. If you leave just the right time... There will be green grass and the weather will still be cool. They say that like they know the exact time, but they're just being mean and not telling us the exact months. I always forget which months to go. I want to say April is pretty good. They say too early. That sounds like March. I'm going to go April and I'll make sure hopefully that we'll get there by, uh, by winter. Before leaving Independence, you should buy equipment and supplies. You have $1,600 in cash, but you don't have to spend it all now. Jeez, don't shout that out loud. I'm liable to get mugged here. You can buy whatever you want at Matt's General Store. Maybe LeMay uh, will get a discount here. Hello, I'm Matt. So you're going to Oregon. You must have a death wish. I can fix you up with what you need. A team of oxen to pull your wagon. Clothing for both summer and winter. Plenty of food for the trip, ammunition for your rifles, spare parts for your wagon. Okay. I think. <laughs> so the Boston banker gets to start Missouri rather than Massachusetts. That's right. <laughs> he knows. All right. Let's see. How many oxen should we get? Two oxen and a yoke. And he's taking at least three yoke. $40 a yoke. So he says we should have at least six oxen. I'm going to say double that because let's not forget we are a very wealthy banker from Boston. So let's go with that. And we're still well under budget. Food isn't quite as big a deal. We're going to be hunting a lot. We're the kind of banker that, you know, he's the weekend warrior. He likes to get out there with his gun and prides himself something of a mountain man so we'll see how that goes but pounds of food for each person in your family 20 cents a pound so multiply that that's what 200 bucks that's not too shabby take some nice clothes keep everyone nice and warm once that winter weather starts to hit hopefully we'll be near oregon by then we're going to need some, though, once we get to Oregon. Oregon's very cold in the winter, I would imagine. You'll need warm clothing in the mountains. I recommend taking at least two sets of clothes per person. Each set is $10. $10? And 18-something? That's crazy. How many sets of clothes? So he says 
we want at least 10 total. Uh, so let's take 20. I'm not really sweating clothes. Looks like there's a joke somewhere in there. Ammo we're definitely going to need because, as I said, we're going to live off the land. 20 bullets. Each box costs $2. How many boxes do you want? Uh, let's, oh God. 1,000 bullets? Is that how many I want? Oh, I can't even take. Okay. So that works out, right? 1,000 bullets. And spare parts when things start to break down. I feel like we want the max of everything. I want nine. <laughs> All right, you should have said that first before making me look silly, Matt. Uh, can I take more than three? Okay. How do you know what I can take? All right. So what's the bill? Jump change, right? The biggest mistake I always made was going light early on. I mean, when we're the banker, man, it's like that's what the money's for, you know? I think we should take some extras. How many did it take before? Guess that's the max. Okay. I feel pretty good. We got max parts, max oxen, clothing should be fine, ammunition should be good, food, not gonna be a problem as we move forward. Almost dropping a thousand dollars at Matt's general store. He's gonna be sad to see us go. Well then, you're ready to start. Good luck. You have a long and difficult journey ahead of you. He's like, oh wait, you're a banker, you wuss. It's not gonna be that hard. We'll see. It's very random, the trail. Ow. Hopefully that awful music's coming through. Anyway. <laughs> it wasn't at first when I had the headphones and I think it's, uh, we'll figure it out. This game's not about the music so much. Independence. April 1st, 1848. Weather's cool, health is good, pace steady, rations filling. I'm good with all those options as of right now. Um, the pace, obviously you go faster. Steady pace, a strenuous pace. I'm like a little tempted when the weather's nice and we're starting out to go at a strenuous pace to put some miles behind us, you know, get some road behind us. Guess I'll go with strenuous. Let's find out about more about the different paces. 12 hours a day. You finish each day feeling tired. So I guess it's more about like people might get sick and stuff. So I probably don't want to do that. Even if it's kind of nice out at the start. Let's try it for a bit and see how it goes. All right. We got our team. Let's head on out. April 1st. God, we already heard this. <laughs> a thousand pounds of food. This should get us going for a while, right? I like our oxen has a little swagger in that walk. Look at that. That is a sassy oxen. Never on <laughs> has a broken arm three days into the trip, despite never getting off the wagon. Amazing. All right, maybe a little less swagger there, oxen. I didn't mean to stop that. That might have been from the strenuous pace, actually. But it's not like we hooked the wagon up to uh, never run, though, so I don't get that. Anyway. Yeah, let's look around. You laugh, but that... That, that jam was the fire in 1848. All right, let's keep going. I'm going to keep the strenuous pace for a bit longer. Oh, all right, we have our first decision, and I need to consult with the entire group to decide how we cross this river. It's only six feet deep, but that's actually pretty deep. That's like the height of one of our oxen, or a bit higher, actually. So we can't go across... Um, yeah, I wouldn't ford it. Caulk the wagon and float it? Or take the ferry? 
weather's cool. Feeling good about caulking it in this situation? I'll even turn this up so we can get some more of this on the, uh, the microphone in this case. We could afford the ferry, right? People like caulk. All right, let's 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 caulk it. We are split between caulking and ferrying. All right. Brandon's got the broken arm. He wants to take the ferry. I don't blame him. Let's take the ferry. Listen to the group. Ferry operator says we'll charge you $5 and you'll have to wait four days. Talk about service. I guess we're willing to do that. That's why we left in April, right? Strenuous pay should offset that and everything. <laughs> take, you're rich, take the ferry. The wagon got your party and wagon safely across. Nice. All right, let's keep going. How are we doing on food right now? 880 pounds. There it is. Oh my god. <laughs> From the Kansas River crossing, it is 83 miles to the Big Blue River crossing. Cool. Literally, the weather is cool. Health is good. If you don't count the broken arm. Alright. Big Blue River crossing. Let's look around again. They're fording it. Oh, it's not even like, not even deep enough to, oh, okay, it is. 3.4 feet deep in the middle. I think at this point we can just ford it. I'm not going to worry about this. These are not bad conditions. What the sh... Wait. <sighs> Koala drowned? How is it too deep to ford? It's three feet deep. My god. Sorry, Koala. <sighs> you drowned in three foot water. <laughs> That's on you, buddy. I'm sorry. I find it hard to uh, hard to sympathize for someone who drowned in three feet of water. <laughs> ah, grave say this is Koala's grave. Here lies Andy, pepperoni and cheat what? <laughs> Ridiculous Oregon Trail. <laughs> Gonna have to tell Koala's widow when we get there. What happened to Koala? He, well, ma'am, he drowned in three feet of water. <laughs> She's like, you probably didn't need to mention the three feet part. <laughs> Fort Kearney. Awesome. How many, uh, how many oxen do we still have? We still have 12. We need to be a lot more careful, by which I mean I need to be a lot more careful. But we're making good time. Strenuous pace. I think it's paying off. Hey, Kearney, this, ID, this fake ID is truly, <laughs> truly excellent. Can't not think of that, Kearney. We won't need to go hunting for a while. A thief comes during the night. I like that guy in the back, just like, <laughs> suckers. <laughs> just stacks of supplies walking out like he's leaving a department store or something. 45 pounds of food. You know what? I'm not going to sweat that. That's fine. That's what the hunting rifle's for. It'd be nice if the hunting rifle was also for shooting thieves who were trying to steal 45 pounds of food. One of the oxen is injured. What does that mean? Are they just down? Do we have to wait? Chimney Rock. Let's take a look around Chimney Rock, everybody. Pour one out for Koala here. All Lang Syne? What? On April 25th? All Lang Syne. Okay. <laughs> I don't think we need the second instance of it coming back. Alright, here's Fort uh, Laramie. What'd they say? 
Flip disk to side two. All right, I just happen to have disk two right here. Nice. <laughs> Fort Laramie, let's take a look around. Got some naive Americans. Some horses. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Health is still fair. At some point, I'm going to want to slow down this pace, but right now, I don't know, it seems like we're okay. Everyone might be being a little more careful, too, with the fact that we just witnessed koala drown in three feet of water. I don't know. Whatever it takes, right? This is the trail. <laughs> now we know. Koalas can't swim. It's true. The average koala is only about probably two feet tall. So I should have known. Never runs broken a leg to go with that broken arm. Good thing he never runs. Boom boom. Where are we now? Independence Rock. Yes, please. To Smith, Charlie Johnson, Zeke, and others. We take a look at the map. Let's see how far out we are. So we've already made it halfway. God bless our strenuous pace. And all we have is a broken arm and a broken leg to uh, to show for it. On the bad side. One of the oxen has died. Couldn't handle the pace, I guess. We don't have to stop every time. It's fine. I don't want to sound heartless, but, you know, that's why I bought extra oxen. Oxen die. It's what they do on the trail. <sighs> I sounded a little heartless. <laughs> South Pass. Let's take a look. Take a gander. Doom, 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 doom. See, he's showing that Native American look. This used to belong to Koala before he drowned in three feet of water. Uh, Fort Bridger or the Green River Crossing. Let's take a look at the map. So this is where it splits. We can go... Well, they don't really show the waypoints as splitting off necessarily. Kind of makes it seem like if we go down, we're going down to Mexico. I don't know. You know what? Face your fears, right? Let's go for that river. I think that's how Koala would have wanted it, you know? Wouldn't want us to shy away from every single river we come across. That's no way to live. It's a way to die, as we've seen. Let's take a look at the river. This looks like a fairy situation. And we have the scratch for it too, I believe. All right, 20 feet in the middle, that I understand. Like, <laughs> it was too deep at the reading. I, I'm never going to get over that during this Let's Play. Uh, let's take the ferry. I don't mind waiting. Five days. Jeez. How do you run a business? guess they kind of got us over a barrel, though, you know? Anyway, I learned my lesson. I'm certain that I'm about to try anything with 20 feet. That's a no-brainer. I forget what the conditions. Maybe someone can clue me in. Ooh, soda spring. Sounds delicious. Maybe someone can clue me in as to what the conditions are right when, uh, wrong trail. When it's right to caulk and float. Caulk and float. We haven't even needed to hunt yet. Uh, we're getting close, though. Maybe after this next, uh, this next waypoint here. That looks like water. Rich has exhaustion <laughs> from sitting in the wagon. I just, <laughs> we're not the ones doing all the work. It's the oxen. I get when the oxen die, but how are we breaking legs and arms and getting exhausted? Never run has died. Just, <laughs> just like that. There's no context beyond that. They just died. I mean, I know it was a different time, but a broken arm and a broken leg. <laughs> Sorry, Brando. We are down 40% of our crew. This is getting rough, man. It's that strenuous pace. I've never tried the strenuous pace. And you'd think I would give it up by now after 
everything that's happened so far, but no, we have to press on. We have to live for those who are no longer with us. <laughs> what? Sounds devious, that music. Sounds like there's like a voyeur somewhere. All right, I think we need to slow down our pace. Let's change that pace. Go back to steady. And let's go hunting too. Let's maybe even rest. Let's rest for five days. Hopefully they've been resting while we've been waiting for the ferry these two times. All right, health is fair. That's on me. I should have stopped to rest and maybe Brandon wouldn't have uh, succumbed to his broken arm and leg. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm sorry. Uh, definitely. That's why I bought the supplies, right? Heck yeah. I almost feel like we could, like, pick up the pace again, but we're well ahead of schedule. It's fine. Oh, we need to go hunting. For the first time, let's go hunting. I know how hunting works. Wait, how do we move forward? There we go. <laughs> I know how hunting... Wait, what do we do? Squirrel! Finally, use for those 1,000 bullets that I bought. <laughs> Doofy grin on his face. I'm hunting. Damn it, all the big animals are over on that side of the world. Two pounds from that sad little squirrel. We need to go hunting again. All right. A bit more open, I think. Watch all the bears and stuff. Yep, I called it. They're all going to be up there. You only need to kill one. So much meat in one of those bears. You can't even carry back enough. Like, yeah, the amount of meat that they give you, you can't carry it all back. Just give me something. There's a wabbit. Kind of trapped. All right, then. I don't know why they only give you 20 seconds. Bit impatient there. Meanwhile, like, I don't know, this is LeMay hunting, and you got, like, Tiro and Mono calling from. Whoa, what the H just. Just went skyrocketing. Or is it Rich? I forget who our party is now. <laughs> so many people have died. And I apologize if I did not get you in the game. Mono, I guess I didn't get you in the game. I just realized that. I apologize. Um, but we have some food now. Let's get back on the trail. You're guaranteed not to die, though, if you're not part of this party. I will say that. Fast bear glitch. Very little water. Hopefully they'll have some at uh, wherever this is. Yeah, Rich is here. Rich, LeMay, and Tiro, I think, are who's left at this point. Fort Hall. Shoot them. There's meat. It's walking meat. More food for the thief to take, I know. Just like he's going to the store. He's got his takeout order as he walks out of the back of the wagon. Thanks, guys. Ooh, wild fruit. How much does that give us? 20 food. We should go hunting again. Get some protein to go with that fruit. Suck it, cactus. I'm so slow. Ah, wait. Arr. You know that bear was... Wouldn't just stand there and let me shoot him. Would have mauled me long before then. A squirrel would make a nice appetizer. All right. Yeah, we can only carry 100 pounds back. I guess that's like everybody working together, too. Let's try hunting one more time. I'd like to be able to make one more stop before we have to stop off for food again. It tastes like burning. Huh? Yes, that should do it. I'm going to sit here and enjoy the kill and the scenery. Deer's like, screw that noise. Yep, that should do it. Back on the trail. It's very hot. I think our health would uh, 
It wouldn't do well in these conditions. Inadequate grass. Rough trail. Very little water. Inadequate grass. Jeez. Very little water. Just tell me when something good happens. Very little water. Very little water. All right, water's a problem. I'm getting that. Inadequate grass. <laughs> You're a misery, Oregon Trail. All right, water right here. Uh-oh, Tira was a broken leg. Health is poor. We better rest. Let's rest right here. By the... By the water. I think we got six days in us, right? We're ahead of schedule still. Starting off from Missouri and setting that pace. I think that's going to pay out. Snake River Cross. And let's take a look around. Call your girlfriend. All right. Good times. All right. How we want to deal with the Snake River? I think, uh... Evil Knievel had some history here at some point, probably 130 years from now. Six feet deep. Uh, let's hire one of the locals, right? Three sets of clothing, I guess. The Shoshone Guide will help you float your wagon across. Always a good idea to consult with the locals. So we're still... Caulking, essentially, but nice to have an expert. All right, no trouble floating the wagon. Excellent. Can we just hire that guy to come along with us to Oregon? He could be our bank manager. Get him a sweet job. Oh, food's getting low. Hold up. Let's go hunting again. I really wish you could get more than 100, because... Having to like keep or just let you stay out longer, you know. Bring three people with you; they can each carry a hundred pounds, and then there you go. In the bum, and we're done for this time. We'll come one more time. That food goes really fast. I could uh, slow down on. We could ration more, but. I think that would have an adverse effect on our health, quite honestly. Am I stuck back here? Jeez. Unless we get lucky and some animal's stupid enough to come back here with us. Oh, it was! Ah, oh. So close. Oh my gosh. They're just teasing me at this point. Rapid fire now. Contra. Oregon Trail Edition. Don't tease me. Just in time, AI. Come on, something come on the southeast side of the map. That's not a rabbit. I'll take the rabbit. Ah. You can line up something here. Oh, that was a good shot. I'm quite proud of that shot. It's the best shot you're going to see on the trail today. 75 pounds of meat. I think 74 of that was from the deer. Let's just keep going. You know what I think I might do at this point is change our pace back to strenuous, but I will be prepared to rest as our health starts to dip. Bad water. That's not good. And how many miles do we cover each time? 16 in that case. I'm sure they'll have some water at the fort, right? Ox wanders off, lose one day. It happens. Fort Boise. Whoa, is that her? Oh, it's the baby's head. <laughs> My mistake. We're still good, though. Rations are filling. I feel like that helps with the health and everything, you know? I don't know. I'm not an Oregon Trail expert, which is why I saw one of our 
Party members drown in three feet of water. Impassable trail. Still nice and hot, though. Beats the alternative. We should take a look at that map once we get to... Is that broken? Didn't you already have a broken leg, Tiro? Is that the same leg? Is that the other leg? Okay. <laughs> now you're messing with me, Tiro. <laughs> the Blue Mountains. Let's take a peek. Lovely. All right, let's take a look at our map. We must be getting close now. Look at that. We are so close to Oregon. The promised land, apparently. Let's get back to it. I almost want to up this to a grueling pace for the end. Fort Walla Walla. This is the final trail division here. Um, I'm going to let the remaining three party members, Tiro, LeMay, and Rich, chime in. I'm going to say, LeMay and Rich have been portraits of good health so far. It's been nice. I'm not faulting Tiro for the broken legs or never run for the broken arm and the broken leg and spontaneously imploding or whatever you did. Or KK for drowning. But uh, it's, it's nice not having to worry about the other two, I gotta say. Tiro. Tiro wants the dowels. All right. The Dales. I don't know how to say that. We'll go to. 125 miles. We're here in the home str Oh my god, we're almost out of food. Stop. We will, before we start eating Tiro, I need a bear. Yes. <laughs> I like the, the just bouncing off the top of the screen bear. Spring bear. Anything else would just be wasteful at this point, but gotta practice, right? Gotta hone those skills for the next kill. <laughs> so wasteful. My god. Alright. Is there anything above filling? Can we just go like complete glutton? Is that an option? <laughs> Grueling pace, but we're just shoveling food in our mouth the entire time. Ah. Damn, squirrel, I wanted those two pounds of food that I can't carry anyway. I'll even shoot this tree up. I got more bullets than I know what to do with at this point. Might have a little side hustle is like open a little ammo shop once we get to Oregon as well. With all this bonus ammo. Kill shot. Boom. Not in my Pacific Northwest. It looks like a mummy on the apple, too. Let's riddle it with bullets. Mmm. <laughs> Extra lead in the uh, in the back end of that bear. All right, I think we got enough food now. Let's see. Food rations. Is there anything more than filling? Nope. Fill it up. And let's gruel that pace. Grueling pace, shoveling food in our mouths. Let's see if the oxen can keep up. How many miles do we cover? 22 at a time. So it's like 16, 22. And I'm guessing probably like 10 on the easiest pace. Something like that. Let's take a look. Beautiful. Is that guy trying to row all that weight? Health is poor. We better stop to rest. I don't want to lose anyone else. If we can finish this with at least 50% of our crew, then I think that's a win. Let's rest for six days. Let's get that health back. Shoveling food in our mouths. Filling those bellies up. Uh, let's take the toll road this time, since we got the scratch, right? Oh, chump change. Or didn't you know, didn't you hear I'm a banker from Boston? A very successful banker, presumably. 
Okay, again, you'd think they would be, like, resting for those five days, but I guess they had to backtrack. I don't know what to do about water or grass. Those are just random things I can't help, you know? Another broken leg. <laughs> Every appendage, everything is broken on Tiro. Oh my god, did we make it? The Willamette Valley, Oregon. What am I gonna... I'm a banker, what am I gonna do here? This looks much more suitable for the farmer, if you ask me. But there you go. Three out of five made it. Let's see how many points we received. We made it by September 5th. So, I'm gonna try to remember that if I ever hit the trail again. We left in April. We did a... I'd say it averaged out to a slightly strenuous pace. And, uh, yeah, just watch the river next time. Gotta remember that three feet apparently is high enough to drown in. And gotta remember that never run spontaneously just explodes sometimes. Sometimes that happens. It was the 1840s. Modern medicine was not it's not what it is today. Three people in poor health. <laughs> one wagon. How do you... Can you have more than one wagon? Is that a thing? Eleven oxen. Five spare parts. Seventeen sets of clothing. Tons of bullets. Not bad. I'd say we're probably the... Uh, we're, we're the... We're, we're the big name in Oregon right now. That's what I'm trying to say. We've got the stuff. People are going to be coming to us when they need to borrow some money. There's that bank and you can draw on there when they need to borrow some bullets, what have you. There you go. Oregon Trail. We sort of made it. That was sort of satisfying. Oh, I gotta flip my disc. Hold on. See how well we did here. One moment. Stephen Meek. Oh, I'll never catch up to that Stephen Meek. But we did beat one of Richard Escobar's outings. David Hastings got the adventure. We're just a greenhorn. But you know what? That is all right by me. Thank you very much to the folks who allowed me to make use of their names for this journey on the Oregon Trail. That was fun. And we'll see you next time. More fun, fun times right here on Let's Play with Brigands. Hope to see you then. Look, there's a meek and a meeker. What are the odds? Thank you for watching, and please hit that subscribe button to get notified every time I put up a new video or go live with one of these fantastic games. And check the description of this video to see what song is playing right now.